sorry, my camera's battery just died, and now I have to hold you because this is the only spot where I could plug it in. Okay, so Disneyland. I was talking about Disneyland. They say it's the happiest place on earth, and, and that it's the Magic Kingdom and whatnot, and you know what? I saw the consumerism, and I saw the screaming children, but I felt the magic. I really did. I mean, I was in tears like 80% of the time while I was there, just because I was so happy and so amazed. Like, especially like when I walked into Toontown, are you kidding me? I lost it. It was just amazing and beautiful. And I immediately turned on, um, on my iPod, I put on Smile Darnia Smile from the Roger Rabbit soundtrack. Ooh, that's much better. Imagine you're walking into Toontown and you hear the song that plays while Eddie Valiant is driving into Toontown. It's just, oh god, it was amazing. Next question is, why do you like living in this area? I don't. I live in Oregon. It's cold and it's rainy and it's gray and it's cloudy and it's depressing. Too gray, too cloudy. Do I believe in extraterrestrials or life on other planets? Yes. I mean, the universe is just way too big and there's just too many planets and, and too many solar systems. It's harder for me to believe that this is the only planet with life on it than it is for me to believe that there are other planets with life on it, if that makes sense. The next question is, do I believe in ghosts? Again, yes and no. Do I believe that a ghost can haunt a place because it's got unfinished business or because it it was killed traumatically or something? I, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think so. But I do believe that there is energy that stays around after somebody dies. And I do believe that, you know, the composition of the earth can maybe save that energy like a recording and some people can pick up on it. I don't know. Why not? Do I have any phobias? Yes. And I cannot remember what the name of it is. I don't know if I would classify it as a phobia or just an extreme fear. I don't think it's quite up to the level of phobia, but needles. Anything that resembles a needle terrifies me. Um, I had to get my blood drawn once, and I had like six panic attacks in a row. I'm exaggerating. But I really did. I felt like I had multiple panic attacks like stacked on top of each other. And it was, it was awful. I mean, I was, it was terrible. They gave me medicine to calm me down and my adrenaline was rushing so hard that they gave me more of it than they were technically supposed to and it didn't do anything. I really want tattoos, but I mean the likelihood of me ever getting one is ridiculously low unless I'm just completely out of it and asleep during the whole procedure or something. I mean, I just don't see it happening. What do I think is the secret to a good life? I think the secret to a good life is trying to find the positive in everything where you can. I mean, I know that some days you're just in a bad mood and you're just negative and you're just down on everything. And especially for girls, you know, Shark Week, it happens. Sometimes you can't avoid it, but I think if you just try to push away the bad stuff and just try to look at the best of things, I know it's really, really hard sometimes, but, you know, just work with what you have and appreciate what you have and just try to make the best of everything. And don't let every little thing just ruin your day. If I could live anywhere in the world, where would I live? <laughs> Los Angeles, California. There's a lot of reasons for that, and I will go into those in a separate video, too. You see what I'm doing here? I'm giving myself all sorts of ideas. This is just great. So that is the end of this list. You know what? It's going to have to be multiple parts, because ain't nobody going to sit down and watch this all at once. Hopefully, y'all found it interesting. There's a little bit of my Southern coming out, y'all. Subscribe, comment, give me a thumbs up, share it with uh, Facebook or Twitter or, you know, other people. I'm a very interesting person who has a lot of very interesting opinions on a lot of very interesting topics. So if you just stick with me through the slow times here while I'm starting things out, I promise you, you will not regret it. I am fantastic. And you just need to give yourself time to figure that out. So, subscribe, thumb me up, comment, do a video response, share it on Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or whatever you have. Yeah, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! Don't forget, I'm going to be vlogging every day in December, 
And if I can figure out how to make myself a fancy little graphic or an opening thing or whatever, I'll do that. Um, I guess the official title will be V-E-D-I-D, -D, unless everybody else also does that, in which case, I don't know, whatever. So I guess V-E-D-I-D, 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 whatever. I'm going to be vlogging every day in December, if it kills me, and it might. So, I gave myself lots of ideas in this video, though, so at least for the first, like, week or two, I'll probably be just fine. Um, so tune in, watch those, and, like I said, subscribe, comment, thumb me up, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, tell your family, tell your worst enemy. Maybe you think I'm terrible and you want to inflict me upon them. I don't care as long as somebody's watching. Thanks. See ya!